welcome you're watching next is english today we are going to discuss a very important topic for climate perspective the topic is climate change performance index 2026 is now out top 10 leaders and laggards india falls on 13th rank now india has taken 13th rank in this index and this uh, ccpi was published on tuesday at the ongoing unco cop 30 climate summit now so uh, this was published on tuesday in the un cop 30 summit moving forward before discussing the topic i would like to discuss the upsc relevance of this topic let us understand why is it relevant for your examination perspective so let's simply understand why is it relevant for prelims ccpi is frequently asked under environmental indices and reports there have been many questions from environmental indices and reports in prelims then knowing publishing agencies categories and in india's rank becomes very important because india is something that you will always have to study about and then fits under environment and ecology climate change international organization it fits under all these categories then let's understand the main relevance for gs paper 3 environment conservation climate change energy transition all this becomes important india's commitments under paris agreement and nd if you haven't watched our COP30 video, then go watch it. Uh, I've already explained all this. Then challenges in reducing emissions, phase down of coal, renewable energy integration. And then in GS paper 2 also, it becomes very important. International climate diplomacy uh, for international relations, is, it becomes important. Global indices influencing negotiations. Example, COP outcomes. Now let us see the key UPSC keywords of this. So the Paris Agreement becomes a keyword you need to understand about it. Mitigation versus adaptation, emissions intensity, renewable energy targets which is 500 gigawatt by 2030. We have already discussed that in a video of Great Indian Busted. So go watch this one. Net zero by 2070, great energy transition and climate governance. So these are the UPSC keywords that are relevant for this topic. Let's move on and understand the topic now. So firstly, let's understand Climate Change Performance Index, Introduction and Purpose. Now what's the introduction? CCPI is an independent monitoring tool that evaluates the climate mitigation performance of major global emitters covering 92% of global GHG emissions. So CCPI basically ये check करता है कि countries climate change को रोकने के लिए कितनी seriously काम कर रही हैं और mitigation efforts कितने strong हैं इस पूरी चीज़ में और इस index से यही समझ आता है. Let's understand published annually by German Watch, New Climate Institute and Climate Action Network International. तो ये किससे कौन publish करता है इस report को? German Watch, New Climate Institute and Climate Action Network International. They both compilately published this report and then the third point is established in 2005 now this is this has been established in 2005 its objective is to enhance transparency taki transparency uh, enhance ho in the international climate politics the international climate politics ki transparency ho taki sabhi logo ko pata chale ki international climate politics mein kaun si country kaisa perform kar rahi hai it assesses whether countries are on track to contribute to the paris agreement goal of limiting global temperature rise to well below 2 degree Celsius, preferably 1.5 degree Celsius. So, Paris Agreement mein ye baat hui thi ki climate ka jo uh, temperature hai, it should be below 2 degree Celsius, which is 1.5 degree Celsius, preferably. But, so this report also includes are there countries who are actually following this or it is just a, a paperwork policy. Moving forward, let's talk about the methodology and assessment framework now let us understand how what are the methodology how are this report and the countries assessed kis binha pe inko ye uh, di ja rahi hai rankings kya wo hai purpose kis tarike se ye kara jata hai let us understand that so uh, there are four main categories which is weightage okay let us understand the weightage ghg emissions 40 percent now 40 percent uh, is the ghg emissions which tracks absolute emissions per capita emissions emission tens versus 1.5 degree celsius pathway now this pathway again paris agreement ki baat ho rahi hai pe, and 40 percent ghg emissions ki basis per judge kiya jata hai se. then renewable energy 20 percent which is share of renewable energy in total energy mix renewable energy growth rate policy strength for renewable energy expansion so renewable energy is the second factor the third factor is energy use again 20 percent how much energy has been used per capita primary energy consumption 
efficiency levels alignment with global energy use reduction pathways so that's again third factor the fourth and the last factor is climate policy so how the climate policy has been and that also gives us 20 percent evaluation of national and international climate uh, policy commitments based on expert surveys and implementation evidences as well so top three ranks are kept empty if no country performs adequately for a 1.5 degree celsius pathway signifying that no nation is fully paris aligned so report hai, which is a good way by the way that top three ranks are kept you know uh, empty so if no country is eligible for those three ranks those ranks have you know they're kept empty and that's a really nice thing to do because that's how it should be and it shows that no nation is fully paris aligned moving forward let's talk about the ccpi 2026 india's ranking and key shifts now as i've already told you that india ranks 13th this time and the rank has the last year India's rank was 23rd so this time India has ranked 13 which moves from a high performer to medium performer category India retains relatively strong climate policy framework which is NDC 2022 update hydrogen mission recapacity expansion and let's talk about the positive progress in uh, renewable energy especially in the solar capacity addition see we all know that there have been many uh, things that have been going on in solar capacity so yes there have been positive progress in renewable energy as well then however India faces downward pressure due to now there are certain things that uh, forces India to go downwards what is what are the pressure points in continued dependence on coal for power generation over 70% of energy still comes from coal now that is again topic which needs to be highlighted that coal dependence has increased rapidly rising energy demand leading to higher absolute ghg emissions so yes that is another point why india has gone downwards is because ghg emissions as i already told you it is 40 percent part portion of it moving forward slow improvements in energy efficiency metrics now the improvements have been very slow in energy efficiency metrics so that is another reason because there are many policies on paper but actually ground level implementation is uh, very very backwards moving forward let's talk about India's performance in individual categories. Now, let us understand what is the uh, performance of India in individual category. So, GHG emissions, which holds 40% uh, of how these uh, how this index is calculated india remains one of the largest global emitters by volume though per capita emissions remain below global average so for this india remains the largest global emitter uh, and emissions trends not yet aligned with 1.5 degree celsius pathway uh, as i already told you paris agreement do remember this number the india is not aligned with paris agreement as of now so we are not following this 1.5 degree celsius pathway then let's talk about renewable energy now this is considered a relative strength India among the top renewable energy installers globally so that is a good point that India is among the top renewable energy installers globally so as I told you we are working on that field yet growth not fast enough to offset rising fossil fuel use yet the growth is limited it's not fast enough now let's talk about the energy use low score due to high per capita consumption increases and slower demand side efficiency improvements again then climate policy let us understand strong rating due to ambitious national missions but implementation gaps highlighted example coal phase down not clearly defined as i've already told you there are ample of policies on paper but there are implementation gaps the implementation is slow and that is not working in india's favor india needs to do something about the implementation part moving forward let's talk about global landscape ccpi 2026 highlights now let us understand what are the highlights of the uh, CCPI 2026 index. So top performing countries have included Denmark, United Kingdom and Morocco, credited for strong renewable energy adoption, declining fossil fuel use and stringent climate legislation because they have laws which are very strict. So that is why they have they are the top performing countries. Then worst performing countries in G20 countries have been China, which is ranked 54th. Russia has been ranked 64th. United States have been ranked 65th. And Saudi Arabia have been ranked 67th. Now, let us understand why. Uh, China has large emissions volume, dependence on coal persistence, despite renewable energy leadership. There has been renewable energy leadership, but still 
then very weak policy signals rising emissions from uh, Russia, then high per capita emissions, uh, fossil fuel expansion debates from United States, nearly the lowest score, heavy oil dependency, weak transition progress from Saudi Arabia. Now let us understand what the pattern is, major emitters failing to meet Paris aligned pathways widening the global mitigation gap. Now, the major emitters are falling to meet the Paris aligned pathways. The Paris aligned pathway was 2 degrees Celsius, say Nietzsche hona chahiye, which preferably is 1.5 degrees Celsius. So, keep in mind, this is the Paris aligned pathways. Moving forward, let's talk about the structural insight, what CCPI reveals about global climate action. So structural insight dekh lete hain. global climate mitigation remains insufficient, abhi bhi insufficient hai. Jitna aap climate kile kare utna kam hai because no country fully aligns with 1.5 degree Celsius targets. So is target ko koi bhi country isse align nahi kar rahi hai and isi liye climate itna kharaab ho raha hai, isai chizhe humare uh, even India is facing the backlash of it. A pollution dekh lije, aap baaki sari cheeze dekh lije climate change ki wajah se. To heavy coal dependence economies show persistent lag despite uh, renewable energy investments. Nations with comprehensive climate laws and long term net zero pathways score higher irrespective of their size. So moving forward, lastly let's talk about India specific implications. Ab ek bar India ki specific implications ke baare mein baat kar lete hain. CCPI uh, serves as a tool. Kis cheez ka tools uh, hai CCPI? Track India's trajectory towards NDC commitments. 45% emissions uh, intensity reduction by 2030. 50% renewable energy share. So this we have to track. Then evaluate India's energy transition challenges. Balancing development with decarbonization. Ye sab cheeze bhi uh, evaluate hoti hai. India ki energy ki transition ki changes kis level pe pahunche hai. Then highlight the need for coal phase down roadmap, grid modernization and green hydrogen scaling. So why do we need in sari cheezon ki coal phase down roadmap ki, grid modernization ki, green hydrogen scaling ki. Ye bhi highlight hota hai is report se. India's drop may influence. Now, India ka drop can influence kar sakta hai? international climate negotiations, India's positioning at COP. Okay, domestic policy recalibration in sectors like power, mobility, and industrial emission. In this may be India ki uh, domestic policy ko, uh, it could take a hit. Moving forward, let's talk about the limitations and critics. Now, everything has some limitations and critics so let's talk about that methodology heavily focused on mitigation not adaptation so people say the methodology is heavily focused on mitigation of climate but not adaptation relies on secondary data which may lag behind real-time policy actions okay so the data is secondary and maybe the policy action have been very active but the data has been secondary does not fully factor in developmental needs energy poverty uh, or equity concerns central to the global south okay moving forward now let's talk about the question so we have covered most part of this topic let us understand the question the climate change performance index ccpi is released by which of the following a unep b german watch and partner organizations c world bank d ipcc we have already discussed in the video so let's see who will be able to answer this and who was listening attentively and that is it for today. Please save our environment, do things that help out our environment, plant a tree and you know do things, do things on your level. Let's not depend on big countries, big names like COP32, do our bit. Okay and that is it for today. I'll see you in another deep dive video. Until then bye bye, take care.